हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द सेकंड वीडियो ऑफ फायर बेस विद फ्लटर सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू रीड दैट डेटा वी जस्ट क्रिएटेड इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो सो फर्स्ट लेट्स टेक अ क्विक रिकैप ऑफ दैट डेटा व्हिच वी हैव क्रिएटेड लेट्स मूव टू द होम पेज एंड देयर इज अ मेथड क्रिएट व्हिच वी हैव कॉल्ड इट व्हेन वी टैप दिस सिंगल बटन so it's not the clean way it is but not that much so let's create some data with a clean way and then we will read that data so let me show you the cloud fire store i have deleted that data from here and then now we will create that data again with the clean way and then we will read that data so let's do this let me comment out this data and also this create method and start creating the data with the clean way first i will create a directory inside this lib directory that will be data inside this we are going to have another directory that will be models and then another directory that will be remote data source just like this and inside this models we are going to have our user models if you remember we have created users there was a user collection and inside this there were so many documents of the users and inside there were some fields of username and age so we are going to create a model that will be user model just like this and cancel that will be a simple class of user model and there will be two fields of username and age so let's create them final that will be of type string and username final string it also can be uh, int so let's keep it string and it will be age just like this and that uh let's create a constructor for them and make it name parameters and inside this user model we are going to have two conversion method one will be from snapshot to read the data and and the second method will be to json to convert the dot object to the raw data to store them inside the cloud fire store database so let's also do this there will be a factory method to create a factory method we have to do something like this user model dot from snapshot and inside this we are going to have a document snapshot that will be snap and inside this we are going to create a variable snapshot that will be equal to snap dot data and we will type cast it as map string and dynamic just like this one and this will return user model put semicolon here and username will be snapshot username and age will be just like this so let me copy this one and i do not waste the time that will be age just like this and that was it for our snapshot and let's create another method that will be of type map string and dynamic and its name will be the json and this will return a map as we have specified the type map string dynamic so this will be username username and age will be age just like this so we successfully created our to json method to convert data to from dot objects to the raw data and from snapshot to read the data so that was for our user model and now let's create inside this remote data source and now inside this remote data source let's create another file of dart its name will be firestore helper inside this let's create a class that will be firestore helper and so inside this we are going to have that methods of that methods 
like create read update and delete but first let's create that create method so let's copy it instead from the home page let's copy it from here and paste it and uncomment this one so that will be good and also make it static and import that cloud firestore and that's it and also not forget to pass the user model inside this because we are going to access the data from the user model that will be a single user and let's also remove this because now we are going to do it on the on a clean way and let's create a variable of final that will be our new user that will be equal to user model and inside this username will come from user dot username and age will be user dot age just like this and let's convert this to map values by calling to json and now let's await and doc reference dot set the data to new user just like this and also not forget to wrap this document reference with try and catch if there were some errors so that method will catch these errors so try and catch e and cut this and paste it inside this try and also correct this spelling of the catch so this will simply print some error occurred and that will show that particular error so that's it we have access to the user collection and document and we have created a model for our user username will come from model username and edge will also come from here and we have converted and we await for setting the data if there were some errors so that will throw the error so that's great and let's move to the home page and inside this inkwell on tab we will do firestore helper dot create and this accept a user model so user model and inside this user model there is username so now we will take this username from the controller username controller dot text just like this and edge will be edge controller dot text and maybe that's it so now let's run the emulator so we got our emulator running so we tried a little clean way not little but it is a clean way so let's try it out if it's working or not so let me pass some data in here that will be some like let's say e tech viral again and its edge is let's say 45 create data and let's go and refresh this cloud file store and it's loading we got our users a random generated id and inside this we got etech viral and edge 45 of type string instead of int so it's your choice you can do it by int i did it as string so it's upon you so anyways we have created data on a clean way so now let's try to read that data that will be awesome let's go to the helper class and let's create another method for that that will again static method of stream because that will live data when we like when we add data that will directly show up here that will be live data this will not require to load our page and the uh, then the data will come here so that will directly show up here when we create the data so let's do it practical stream and list of user model and its name will be read and again we are going to access the 
user collection and then we will return user collection dot snapshots and then we will map these documents and this give us the query snapshot let's name it query snapshot by shop not shop but short and from the query snapshot we will do docs dot again map and now we will call that method we have created inside the user model so inside this we will do user model dot from snap and we will pass that e here dot to not here dot to list just like this one and we have successfully created our read method so let's move to the home page and right after that create button let's close this button like this and put some spacing after this button and let's create a single user how our users will looks like so let's do it this will be a container of margin agent set dot symmetric and horizontally this will nothing but from vertical vertically its margin will be 5 and inside the child of this container we are going to put a list tile and the list tile leading will be a container width will be 40 height will also be 40 decoration box decoration and color will be colors dot the purple and shape will be box shape not shadow shape dot circle and inside and maybe that's it for the leading and let's come out from this uh, leading and or sorry the container and the title will be simple text the username there will become the name of user and subtitle will be also a text there will come the edge of the user let's say 45 for now and we got a single user it will looks like this so let's put it in the list view because we are going to have the list of users when we create the user it first user will come here and the second will come after this and third will come after that and so on so let's uh, cut this co container and put a list view expanded to not throw the render box errors so uh, there will be list view dot builder in the builder it accept the context and the index so and this will return our that container mm, that's it and let's not forget to pass the item count for now five and we got five dummy users of username and edge 45 and that's great for now so let's copy not copy again or maybe let's wrap this expand with the stream builder and that stream builder its generic type will be list of user model and inside the stream we will call the firestore helper dot read to read all the users and then and this stream builder has a builder context and a snapshot now we will check some conditions so first we will check if snapshot dot connection stat is equals to connection stat dot waiting so if the connection stat was waiting we will simply return center child circular progress indicator so if the process was waiting so we will simply show up the circular progress indicator in the center and then let's check another condition if snapshot dot has error so what so what will happen if there were some error so if there was some error so we will return in the center child text some error 
occurred just like this if there were some errors so simply that error will be show up okay then we will check if snapshot dot has data so what if there were some data instead of error and loading so if there were data we will create a final user data equal to snapshot dot data so we simply will fetch that data if there were data as simple as that so let's uh, close this expand it and cut it and paste it inside this if has data and also return here center child center not center but circular progress indicator and that's it and instead of passing the item count 5 we will take the item count from the user data dot length according to the users in the database so if there were one user so here will show only one users and if there were some error so it will show some error occurred and if it was waiting so it will show the circular progress indicator that's it and now let's inside this uh, list view builder we will extract a single user from all these users and we will show their data inside this username and age so let's do it final single user will be equal to user data on index and from the single user we will extract this data single user dot username and single user dot age just like this and we are good to go so press ctrl s to hot reload and you can see we got etech viral with the edge of 45 we just added inside in here inside our cloud firestore database so now we are reading that data from our database so let's try to create uh, another uh, data this name will be let's say steve and his age is let's say 100 or 1000 create and you can see steve is created here and it didn't require the uh, reloading page or hot restart the application because it's as i said it's stream so its data will be live so that's it we are reading the data from the database and we can create it if you check the database we have created the steve with the edge 1000 and also we are reading it here okay so let's hot restart the application again if there were some errors so what happens what was that red screen let me check the debug console what was that error besides it no firebase app default has been created call firebase initialize app why this happens let me guess move to the main page and it's a sync oh we forget to avert this firebase initialize that's why it was throwing that error when we when we start our application so let's how to start the application and we didn't see any error so that's how you can write your data in your cloud firestore with a little clean way and also can read it so i hope i have cleared your confusions about creating data in cloud firestore and also reading data so i hope if you like this video if so show some love in the comment section and also let me know if something is not clear to you and also not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will not miss any future updates and beautiful videos like this so for now goodbye and i will see you in the next video